traders it's 50 minutes past 12 pm here in brisbane on monday the 16th of october and my fighting spirit is on and i want to take on euro cad so i want to start here with the higher time frame so on the higher time frame we can see that we are in a downtrend we've got a high low lower high and a lower low but there's a lot of rejections as we can see of the highs and of the lows that are being formed here so i like the move i like the fact that we are in a downtrend but definitely need to keep attention of these spikes of these weeks now if we'll take a look on the weekly chart we can see the weekly chart is in a downtrend we can see the reaction of this low what i like about this is that we did go lower than this previous low. so the areas that push to a higher high we pink through it obviously after such a strong sell-off we do a bit of a pullback and we pull back into the averages and to this previous spike so these previous areas that the buyers were able to push the price but not as high as the previous high so we're reacting to those levels and i'm looking for a quick continuation of this move so taking a look at the daily and we can see the reactions around here and the level and the area that i'm looking at is here it's the pink line so uh, this area where we had rejection of rejections of the high eventually ended up with a very strong buying candle and a small continuation after that now all of this was tested from here and pushed slightly higher but then got rejected, made a low and another lower low. So there's a couple of elements here that I really like, but also this is an area that sits pretty low as well. So I want to see that there's no more buyers left and I want to see that the sellers are committed to take the price lower. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a break of this area, but I want to see as usual compressions of price above that area. So if we'll take a look here on the four hours, we can see that we actually haven't touched that level. And this is an important area for me because we can see we pushed from here to a high and then another higher high. So I want to see this level being worked and I want to see that compressions of price. However, if I won't be able to get a compressions of price at this area and will continue lower, I wouldn't mind if the sellers will go through this area and then we'll see whoever buyer are sitting here and we'll get that pullback if i'll get that pullback so if the break would happen before our compressions of price and the market will pull back over here into that area then the level that i'll be interested in for a pullback is here is the spike on this very strong rejection candle and the same level that sits around here so if i'm gonna get compressions of price i'll be looking for a continuation but if i get a strong break then i'll be looking for the pullback to be deeper and i'll be looking at this level around the 1.43 8-ish area now as for the point swing and the knockout i'm looking for the point swing just around the origin of these strong bullish candles so in and around the 1.4250 area and for the knockout i'm just going for the area of the previous swing low so around the 148.90 to 142 even so to summarize i am looking for a spar with eurocad but i want to see a compressions of price above my offense area around the 1.4320 and then i'll be looking for a quick move towards my point swing around the red line around the 142.50 and my knockout just shy of the swing low around the 141.90 however if the market will break through my offense line without giving me the compressions of price then i'll be looking for a pullback into this black line of wine if into these weeks which sits at around 143.80 area then i'll be looking for a rollover with the point swing and the knockout sitting at the same line so my fighting plane for eurocad has this 
two elements in it depending on how the market will react to this pink line of mine which is currently my offense line happy knockouts everyone bye for now